Hey everybody, Bourbon Country Mom. I'm soaking up the last few moments of air conditioning before we get out because it is extremely hot already today. I am here at Epcot because Food and Wine Festival officially kicks off today. They are dropping some um, annual pass holder merch as well as all of the merch for the festival itself. So I wanted to get in here first thing, get you guys clips of everything that's available. Now I just a forewarning, I did not go into the actual festival and check out all of the booths and the things that they are serving yet this year. Um, we will be back to do that soon. Um, this is only for the merchandise that's available. Um, I'll also try to grab any other kind of merchandise that is popping up that maybe wasn't in my previous videos when we went to Disney Springs. Because as you guys know, World of Disney does usually carry anything and everything from most of the parks unless it is you know park specific um so if there is anything available that i did not see in the last video i'll make sure to drop that in now so let's go ahead and head on in okay guys i just walked in through check-in over here to the left we do have all of the construction walls up as they're refurbishing the entrance here in front of epcot as you can see, all of the rest of the big concrete blocks that used to be out here with the pictures and things are all gone. Now behind these walls is normally where they would have all of the setups with the food and wine, um, large cutout pieces, I guess. I'm not really sure what you would call them. Uh, so with the little grassy area, that is all gone at this time. There's Spaceship Earth. All right, now even though they do have the construction walls up down here to the left, you are still able to go get the rentals for wheelchairs and strollers and ECVs down in their normal location down here. Now, as we keep moving forward underneath of Spaceship Earth, they do have the Gateway Gifts shop to the left of Spaceship Earth. They do have the Remy's Ratatouille Hide and Squeak maps available here within this shop. $6.99 plus tax. Spaceship Earth is currently sitting at 15 minutes. They do open at 9 today. Now right up past here we do have some additional construction walls that are up before you get to the guest relations building and right past the restrooms. The restrooms though are still open. You can see the Guardians of the Galaxy building back here in the background. Everything is closed in. Lots of work going on though. I could hear when we were walking in from the car. So let's finish our trek up to Mouse Gear. See what kind of lines we might get into when it comes to buying the merch and just see what all they've dropped. Past Spaceship Earth, you do have your pass order sign to let you know to head over to Mouse Gear. There is quite a line already started for the pins that they're dropping. They're, they have tons of boxes. So I'm gonna head into Mouse Gear first and check out what merch we can get inside. And then I will head back out once that line clears. Cause that's usually what happens. There's no point in really waiting an hour. So let's go check out what we can find in here. All right, here is everything summed up on one board as you walk in Mouse Gear. Let's go see what we can find. Okay guys, this line over here is actually for the pins. They have a pass holder pin as well as two additional pins inside mouse gears. So let's take a look at all the different merchandise. We've got Chef Mini out here. They've brought back the Tervis like they normally have every year. This year it's gonna have a purple lid. And of course you've got Chef Mini and Chef Mickey on it. We also have the ice cream sundae cup. We have a keychain up here. Super cute keychain. $9.99. And let's see, the ice cream cups are $30. The Chef Minnie Mouse stuffed is $21.99 and the Tervis is $26.99. Let's move around here. So here is your spirit jersey for this year. It is a Looks like a tie-dye two-toned shirt. Okay. 
We'll start over here because no one's over here. We've got a mug with Chef Minnie and Chef Mickey. $19.99. It says food and wine on the back. Grab you a shot of the apron for this year. And then here are the food and wine ears. It's got the cupcake on it. Here we have a new women's hat. Everything is better with sprinkles. Oh, underneath the bill it says Epcot Food and Wine. And it's got Chef Minnie on the side making cupcakes. Let's see, this hat's going to run you $30. We also have the tank top. $29.99. We also have the salt and pepper shakers that look like a trash can for $9.99. Chef Minnie on one side, Chef Mickey on the other. We also have a pie pan. The pie pan is going to run you $24.99. Is another shot of the spirit jersey for this year. We'll turn it around so that you can see it. Everything is better with sprinkles with Minnie Mouse. Spirit jersey runs $64.99. Here we have an additional gray shirt with Spaceship Earth, again with Chef Minnie. She is the star of the show this year. Everything is better with sprinkles. All right, we do have the ornaments also available. They're going to run you at $21.99. You have Chef Minnie. You also have Chef Mickey. We also have a oven mitt and kitchen towel set. Of course, again, Chef Minnie, $21.99. And then we also have the measuring spoons this year, which are adorable. And these are going to run you at $19.99. Alright, for all my pass holders out here, here is the women's pass holder shirt this year. It is pink with Chef Minnie and Chef Mickey. This shirt is going to run you at $30. Alright, here is, I would say, a unisex t-shirt available for pass holders as well. This one's going to run you at $29.99. Wanted to drop in a little bit of Star Wars for you as well because it is opening day of Star Wars today as well. Here in Mouse Gear at Epcot, they do have Galaxy's Edge merchandise available. This you can also find in my video um, of the pass holder preview. They have the shirts, the lanyards, the hats. They also have, this is something I didn't see at the um, preview, they do have a tank top here, a Star Wars tank top. Doesn't say anything about Galaxy's Edge, but it will run you at $24.99. They also have the kids shirts over here as well. None of the pass holder um, merchandise is here, but they do have the magic bands as well as the pins on sale at the checkout counters. All right, here is some additional pass holder merch that dropped today. This is the first of the four dessert plates and mugs that'll come out. We've got Remy. These run at $20 a piece. They also have the dessert plate as well. $15 for the plate. Prices will be the same as well for the second pass order mug that dropped as well. You've got Figment. And then also the, let me grab one without breaking it, the pass holder figment plate as well. Again, same prices as the Remy. These are the first two that dropped. There will be two additional plates and mugs that will drop later on in the festival. We do have the new hat as well. It does say pass holder on the back 
$27.99. And then we have the No Stem Wine Glass. It is also a pass holder exclusive, $24.99. And limit two per guest per style. Here is the additional pass holder t-shirt. This looks more like a men's cut. It has Chef Mickey in the pocket, and then it has all the countries as well as food and wine all over the shirt, front and back. I also wanted to provide a follow-up here at Mouse Gears for the leggings. So I showed you all of the shirts and jackets. We had the Haunted Mansion leggings. Now they actually have a Foolish Mortal shirt that has come out. This will run you at $34.99. All right, here is a up-close look at the Dooney and Burke purses that are available for food and wine as well. This is a pass holder exclusive, as you can see by the leather tag on the bag. And it's got the 2019 food and wine. So you have it in this. You also have it in a smaller clutch. And then you have the larger bag as well. Let's see if we've got price tags. The larger bag is going to run you at $248. The smaller square bag is going to be $228. The smaller clutch here is going to be the $158. And the pass holder exclusive bag is $228. Here is the leather tag on the other bags that are not pass holder exclusive. Super cute tag on there. So this bag here is going to be the only one that is the pass holder exclusive, which is indicated by the different tag that's actually on the bag itself. All right, pass holders, for your chef mini magnet that dropped today at the start of Food and Wine, we are in the breezeway where Mission Space is out in front of me. Test Track is over here to the right. You come right outside of Mouse Gear and they're handing out the magnets over here. All right, just like previous years, they do have these tray and drink holders to use while you are tasting around the world. These are gonna run you at $7.99. Now, I did not find these inside at the Mouse Gears, but this is right outside at one of the stands before you walk into the World Showcase. They also do have oh, that's cute. the gift cards with Remy on them this year. Got you a little wristband. You can get these and put however much you want on it to take around the world with you. All right, guys, we are at the other kiosk on the right-hand side when you're walking towards the World Showcase with some additional food and wine merchandise. You have your Taste Your Way Around the World bag. You also have a clutch. The clutch goes for $17.99. The bag is $29.99. You also have this two-tone sequence shirt, so when you rub the sequence up, it's one color, down it's another. That is $39.99. You have the Tervis wine glass. This is gonna run you at $24.99. Again, this is the taste your way around the world, so it does not have Chef Mini. And then you have the glass stemware as well. This one's gonna run you at $14.99. You also have a wine glass holder that you can hang around your neck. That is going to run you at $16.99. This here looks like it is some utensils for you to use around the world. They're wooden. It has Epcot Food and Wine 2019. These run for $15. You have a little rolling pin with Spaceship Earth and Mickey heads on it. $19.99. You have the wood Spaceship Earth block. This is gonna run you at 30. And then you also have these additional mugs up top. Those run at $19.99. Then down here at the bottom, you also have the wine bag, $14.99. They have a Disney Festivals cookbook. Grab that up here. 
This is gonna run at $29.99. You also have the water bottle, keep you nice and cool and hydrated while you're out here in the heat with all the different countries, $39.99. And then a Taste Your Way Around the World t-shirt, $29.99. You have an additional hat here outside as well. The bill looks like a cork. Snapback as well for $29.99. You have a men's button-up shirt with all the countries. Taste Your Way Around the World 2019. Excuse me. This is going to run you at $64.99. We also have the Taste Your Way Around the World non-stem wine glass, frosted on the bottom, it's $14.99. And then we have the long sleeve lightweight hooded shirt. This shirt here is gonna run you at $44.99. Wanted to give you guys a rundown of all the pins available now with the Epcot Food and Wine Festival. This is going to be the pass holder pin limited release. This one retails at $15.99. Next up, we just have the limited release food and wine non-pass holder pin. This one also retails at $15.99. Next up, I'm gonna show you this pin in two different um, views. So this is the pin, the way that it is hanging or when it's being displayed. Again, a limited edition has figment. Now this one retails at $17.99, and here is why. This pin actually opens up and hangs like so. So you have the spaceship Earth, basically cut in half and made to look like a bowl, holding stuff, inspiration, imagination, everything that goes along with figment. Next up, we have another, this is a limited edition pin as well. It has Cinderella with Gus Gus. And if you can see, he actually has all of the cheese under his chin. This one retails at $17.99. Next up, we have Pooh and Piglet in their limited release. And as you can see, it has the Epcot up here And actually to backtrack to Cinderella, the Epcot Food and Wine logo is down here on the fireplace. The Pooh pin also retails at $17.99. Next up, we have Mowgli and Baloo. I don't see anywhere on here where it actually calls out about the Food and Wine Festival. Oh yes, it's actually in, it's spelled out in the fruit. So it's E-P-C-O-T. This one also retails at $17.99. And then they also had a four pack with looks like Chef Minnie and Chef Mickey. Limited release, the four pack does run at $29.99. Okay, so with the Pandora Charms being so small, I'm gonna go ahead and drop in some pictures that I was able to grab so that you can actually see what they look like up close um, instead of just on the printout that I grabbed a little video of for you guys. Now, the Epcot ball with the uh, World Showcase buildings on it, that one retails at 70, and the Food and Wine Festival pair, they go for 150. So let's go ahead and drop those pictures in for you now. Okay guys, and the last thing that I picked up was going to be the Food and Wine Festival Magic Band that came out this year. The box is so adorable with Chef Mickey and Chef Minnie. And then here you have the actual band. So obviously they are kind of sticking to a pink theme because Minnie is the focal point this year. So you've got Chef Mickey on that side. On this side, it looks like you do have Chef Minnie. Now you do have this really nice Dooney and Burke slider and be very careful, but you can hear it's a pretty high quality. It's not one of the rubbery ones that they usually put on. 
super cute again has all the lands um different countries spaceship earth and these are going to retail at 48 dollars all right guys so the summer is coming to a close and fall will be upon us shortly joffrey's is now offering their fall specialty drinks i actually picked up the pumpkin pie latte now i am not a pumpkin spice fan at all whatsoever um this one though let me try this out it is kind of spicy i was expecting because it did say pumpkin pie that it would be more pumpkin pie tasting but this has a lot of spice that i have had when i've tried pumpkin spice coffee drinks that i don't like it's okay it's nice it's iced so it's refreshing and i haven't had my coffee yet today so i'm gonna go ahead and enjoy it it's not my favorite but if you guys do like pumpkin spice make sure to check out the pumpkin pie lattes that are now being offered at Joffrey's. They also do have a pumpkin chai latte as well um, on that seasonal menu. Ooh, all right guys, I am back in the car. Um, it is a hot one today. Um, lots and lots of cool things out for the festival for purchase. Um, pins, shirts, aprons, things that you can use in your kitchen. Uh, wine glasses, obviously, since it is food and wine. Um, they also have this year a little bit of a switch up. You have your Chef Mini merchandise, and then you also have the Taste Around the World, which is also still food and wine festival merchandise because it does have that logo on there, but it doesn't actually feature Chef Minnie since she is in the spotlight this year. Um, for all you pass holders out there that are interested, they did have lots of the uh, mugs and dessert plates available for purchase today. Just as a heads up though, I was here for food and wine festival last year in 2018. The big thing last year were the glasses and the pitcher set they sold out very quickly um so if you don't get here within the first couple of days of it opening i am honestly not sure how much will be left for you guys to grab up so if you are in the area and you are interested in getting the exclusive pass holder merchandise try to get here as soon as you possibly can um just kind of a recap though on the park levels i did see multiple people sporting their star wars gear because i do know that it was supposed to open at 6 a.m today for the extra extra magic hours um and probably just to the public as well because it is opening day um so it looked like there were a lot of people that were over there and then did their thing and came back a couple people that i did speak to said that the lines are crazy which is to be expected expected as it is a new I guess feature um, that everybody's wanting to come out and check out um, so if you guys are interested in seeing what the land looks like but you can't get here to see it just yet I will drop a link below to my Star Wars annual pass order preview which gives you an entire tour of the land as well as the lightsaber experience the droid depot um, and just different things that you can purchase throughout Galaxy's Edge um, so I'm gonna go ahead and close this one out for now. Um, I will, like I said, get back here as soon as I can to get you guys a full food and wine festival rundown of all the booths, all the food, all the drinks, try some stuff out, give you guys my thoughts. Um, and again, if you are liking what you see, please be sure to like, comment, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell so that you're aware of when the new content becomes available. And I look forward to speaking to you guys again soon. Cheers.